everyone, it's me, Jen, and in today's video, I wanted to show you how to make a water park with Pig Monkey. Now, if you have never been to Pig Monkey, click the link below this video and check it out because it's an awesome site to do some designs on. So, either way, before we get started, hit the subscribe and the bell so you're notified the second I upload my video. So, open your browser and go to Pig Monkey, or use the link below this video to go to Pig Monkey as well. So once Pig Monkey is open, go up to here and where it says create new and click on that. Then go to blank canvas, click on that, and then let's just put a thousand by a thousand. And then press make it. And I'm just going to put J Hot Designs Watermark. Alright, and then press create. Now, once you've got that, all you have to do is very simple. All you have to do is come over here to the left where this toolbar is and hit the T, which is for text. And once you did that, you press add text. And I want to fill this out. All right, and now I'm going to come over to the right where this says this text box is, and I'm going to choose a font. Now, I already know which one I want. It's a flashlight script because I like bold for uh, watermarks. So, let's resize that. Let's make it pretty big. Go here. And then on the right side of the box where it says text, go down. <clears throat> Excuse me. And where it says fade, bring that bar all the way up to 75. That's where I like to have it. You could go deeper, like maybe 80. And we'll do 80. So that looks like this. Okay? Once you have the first one done, you want to make duplicates. So how you can do that is... You just press your control button on your keyboard and D. You hold it down. Hold down control, press D, and you get a duplicate. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll do it one more time. All right, once you've done that, drag them down. All right. Then come back over to your left where this toolbar is and uh, click the three not lines that say edit. And then go down to background. And then click transparent. Because you want this transparent background so that when you go and add it to your design, you don't have the white on there and you can just see the design. Okay? And then press apply. And there you go. You made your watermark. You can even put it on design. Watch. I'll show you an example. Um, let's choose this one. Now, all you have to do is come down to layers. Put that under all of it. And there you go. Your watermark right there. J Hot Design. Okay, well, if this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you're notified the second I upload my videos. Y'all have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now.